Hello everybody, welcome to another weekly look ahead for uh, Future 45 trading. Um, just going to take a real brief <clears throat> minute to look at the uh, markets going forward this week coming and um, we're going to keep this one fairly short today. Um, so it's pretty much just going to be a continuation of what we saw last week um, is what we've got on the radar and we're going to start as usual with the US dollar index. I'm going to touch base on the Euro USD, the pound dollar. Um, crude oil and uh, I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit about Aussie just because I put a signal out on Friday and we're going to be looking at some stuff on there for next week and then um, I'll just briefly go through a couple of uh, commodities as well too and see if that we see anything coming up uh, lining up for the week so uh, starting with the dollar index again we're still in this um, overall bearish trend on the daily chart on the weekly and on the monthly you can see here um, it's in uh, a very very steady decline and um, we're not switching our stance to go bullish uh, uh, until um, we did see a nice retracement on the week. So if you look at the weekly chart, um, we've had a, a bit of a doji here. This was uh, two weeks ago where price didn't really know what it was going to do. And then finally we had some nice rejection. We had a very, very strong bull up candle. And it also did break the high of this down candle down here. So that kind of leads me to believe that um, we will probably see continuation to the upside for the short term on the US dollar. Uh, now we're going to watch and see what price does at the 9097 level. So basically the 91 big figure level is where we'll be watching price to see if it wants to reverse and then continue uh, down. Um, and then the next level we'll be looking at is right in here at, um, I'll just put a price tag on this one here. So you can see uh, right somewhere in this area right around here about 9240 is kind of where we'd be looking. And um, if we don't see any reversals or any, um, you know, willingness for price to want to uh, start to retrace from here and go back lower, then um, we will probably see continuation to the upside. Now, again, I mentioned before, we kind of had seen some quarterly shifts happen. You can sort of see it here. About three months ago, uh, price was on a nice steady up. Uh, up run, uh, up uptrend, and then um, it hit a quarterly shift, and we've seen a nice steady three-month decline. We took out some old lows here, and we did bounce off of a major level, a major weekly level, um, right over in here, um, very nicely, and we've seen a nice little uh, re uh, uh, rebound. So we're going to see what happens again. We're going to watch the 91 big figure level up in here, uh, and if price wants to go through the the low, the the wick low and the candle low here. Then the next level that we'll be watching for is around 92.40. And if price wants to break there, um, then we'll be looking at these highs over here to be taken. <clears throat> I'm just put a basically where this X, right? Uh, so that's the next level of liquidity that we'll be searching for. And if price wants to go higher than that, uh, then again, it'll get us up to I'll switch over to the daily. Um, if price wants to get higher, then um, than this up here, then um, we'll be switching our standpoint to bullish from there. And what we'd sort of be, be would be looking for, and if you've seen any of my live uh, videos from before, you, you kind of know the idea here. Um, if this is the level up here, uh, we would get a, bear, a bullish confirmation by price doing this, uh, going up and then coming back down, uh, retesting the old highs over here, and then continuing long from there now this is a very very long ways out you got to think it took um since the uh, you know early part of november so november december january uh to get down here so it took three months to get down here and it could take another three months to get back up here and then we'll see what happens from there but again we're not going to get too far ahead of ourselves we want to see what happens um at this level here and then from there, if price wants to continue through this level, then we'll be watching to see if it can get through this consolidation range and push up into the 9240 area. So that's what we're looking on for on the, the US dollar. And it did, as you can see here, it had a little bit of hesitation. So the middle of this consolidation range, it did have some hesitation. Um, it, it kind of poked up in there. And then we had a bit of a doji on Thursday's trading. And then Friday, it showed some more willingness to go higher. So. Um, what I'm kind of looking to see uh, what price does, what I'd like to see price do early in the week, if we're going to continue this uh, short-term bullish trend, um, I would like to see price open up on Monday and come down onto Tuesday 
and potentially come down to somewhere in this area. It may not even get this low um, and then continue its drive higher. We may not get lows back into here. It may only come uh, back down to this pink line here at 89.90, uh, uh, somewhere in around that area, uh, or it could just keep going higher. If we're going to go higher, uh, it's going to do one of two things. It's going to have a short retrace back down to this area here, maybe down to here, or it's just going to start out of the gate and go higher. But I would be looking for a little bit of a retracement um, into Monday and Tuesday's trading uh, down into these levels and then a continuation higher if it wants to see continued uh, uh, bullishness. Um, and again, I think just because of the interest rates and a lot of the news that has been coming out, uh, and again, the, these quarterly shifts that have uh, taken place, I believe we are going to see some short-term bullishness. So I believe we'll get through this level without a problem. And more than likely by the end of this week upcoming, uh, we'll be up into these levels here and, and then looking uh, to see what price wants to do again from there. So with that in mind, we're going to skip over to the Euro USD. Uh, same thing in mind. Uh, we had some bearish price action, obviously, as you can see here on the Euro USD starting out in the week. And uh, we had made some calls. This is my target actually for the week at um, 12100. Uh, that's what I'm going to be shooting for. And that's about um, 150, 200 pips away. So what I'd like to see happen again same type of idea. Um, this is where price closed on Friday. I'd like to see price actually come up to about here and then convincingly start to uh, reverse and then come down in this range. And, and so again, it's, it's about a 200 pip range uh, from up into here, down to here. But we'll watch this one and um, it will probably take Monday uh, and Tuesday to develop, uh, maybe Monday and then it, it could hit the high on Monday and then start to reverse for Tuesday. We will watch that. We'll be watching this on the live um, London Open session as well too on Tuesday. Um, but this is where we're looking for price to go and, and to finish up in uh, the end of this week coming up here. So uh, the week of um, February 12th to the 16th. I'm hoping that we'll see price uh, come down into here. So uh, with that being said, that's the Euro. It's going to be the same type of idea on the pound dollar. Uh, and you can see here as well, too, we were looking up, um, I had said that, uh, I did a live session, I think, on, what day was this, on Wednesday, um, Wednesday or Tuesday's uh, live session, I said, this area up in here, they're kind of leaving it uh, open for a bit of a liquidity raid, and you can see what price did on Thursday, it traded up beautifully into it, grabbed all that liquidity, soaked it up, and then they dropped the market uh, from there. So, I'm going to be looking for price to come up to this area up in here. Uh, for Monday and maybe into Tuesday. Now again, keep in mind, um, they typically will let one pair or the other run. So uh, between the Euro USD and the Pound USD. Uh, so if you see the Euro starting to move, uh, chances are the Pound will, will just kind of stay in a consolidation uh, pattern. Or if you see the Euro USD in a bit of a consolidation pattern, kind of like this and not really wanting to go anywhere, um, then you will see the Pound dollar start to make some moves. So we'll be watching which one is actually going to move. And uh, in terms of a long term, um, I want to see price back down. You see this green line right here at 136.54. Uh, so I want to see price trade down uh, pretty much right about where this where this consolidation area is here um, is where I'd like to see price uh, get down to for the week. And um, a good weekly range on that. That's about 300 pips. That uh, the pound dollar can do that in um, in a blink of an eye. You could probably do that in in a couple of days. So. I want to see a brief retracement higher and then a drop down lower and this will be our target area for the week. So we'll be watching for those signals to set up during the week and we'll let you know how that uh, starts to pan out. Um, just going to move on here. Aussie dollar, we put a trade signal out on Friday's trading. Uh, worked out beautifully. We took a short up in here at um, 78.20 and we had a nice, I actually had the take profits down in this area down here. Um, which was about a, uh, a 40 pip take profit uh, and price actually came down under the lows here and uh, and then started to trend higher. So some great movement on the Aussie uh, dollar on uh, Friday and hopefully you were able to get in on that. Now, what were these levels are relevant here. These are old levels. You don't have to worry about these. Um, <clears throat> let's get those out of there. Uh, but what we'd be looking for again on Friday, so uh, I'm sorry, on, on uh, Monday, is uh, whatever the US dollar does, this pair is going to do the opposite. So <clears throat> again, if the US dollar drops in Monday and Tuesday and then continues higher Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we're going to watch for the Aussie to do one of these. And I've actually kind of outlined it right here uh, as the sort of what I wanted, but it, it, it hasn't happened quite yet. But I'm still looking for price to come up somewhere in this area. 
and uh, and then see a nice sell off. So we're going to be watching this as well too. Uh, that's not too much movement there. That's only about uh, a 40 pip run, and then we'll see where it wants to go from there. So that's uh, that's kind of the levels we're looking at there. And there's plenty of room down here. Um, I had identified this area down here at uh, 76, uh, 7700 basically as to where I'd like to see price get down to for the week. So we'll watch for Aussie to pan out. Crude oil, um, flipping the script on crude, we were very, very bullish uh, um, on crude. It had, has had a very nice retracement though, a nice, it, it dropped off about uh, uh, $5 uh, from its high, $5, $6 from its high, and it's trading uh, just above the, um, I'm sorry, just below the $60 big figure. And so we're going to watch and see what happens on crude oil. I put out a nice trade again on Friday and price smashed down. Uh, if you would have got in on this move, by the way, uh, this was Friday's movement. Um, that was 250 pips. If one contract on the crude oil, I mean, that would have netted you over $2,500. Uh, so beautiful, beautiful movement on crude oil. I want to see what price does in here. However, it's hitting a major area. So what we could do this week is it could just chop sideways for the week, kind of trading up and down between you know, uh, 75 to a dollar um, difference in what it is, and then eventually go lower, or it could rebound and start to move higher. We're going to watch for this one, though, because we're not too sure. The, if the U.S. dollar does continue to increase, um, it probably will drag crude oil down with it a bit, and there's a lot of fundamental and, and some a bunch of news um, out there saying that, um, you know, with OPEC and, and everything else, that uh, some guys are looking at um, ramping up production to uh, catch up with the U.S. shale, uh, oil production as well too and so there could be some um, continued movement lower on this we'll, so we'll watch for that but some had some great movement this week this was a very very nice move that we were able to capture several pips on um, and uh, and again it would kind of work out the same similar way if it, we do see continued bearishness it would be something like this that I would like to see happen and then uh, a um, resume to the uh, resuming to the downside and then for a target on it, uh, I would be looking if we can get the lows. If let's say it want to it wants to continue down, um, I would want to see if we can pick up the lows under here and get down to this red line at about 55, uh, 50, 55, 60 uh, area. So that would be a great area for the week if it can do that. Uh, so that's crude oil. We keep that one um, on the back of the uh, uh, list of watch. Uh, Bitcoin, I called price to run higher and then drop down into uh, the sell area. It's done that now. Um, I'll put out a signal on this tomorrow. I want to see if it wants to go a little bit higher because there is a level uh, right up here. Uh, that does interest me as well. And these are the stops that it, it uh, took some liquidity out. Grab those. The next ones are up here. And then there could be a, a level of interest that price would want to come in. Sort of off the lows of these here, these candles. And so we could see a further drive higher. I wouldn't sell it quite yet. I want to see what price does in here. We could get a bounce down and then a rebound higher and one more leg up before it rolls over. So I want to see what price does in here. So there won't be a signal on this one yet. I want to see what Monday's trading does because it did have a very, very deep, deep low uh, early last week that it uh, captured. And so it may want to just retrace a little bit before continuing down. But I am still bearish on Bitcoin uh, for now. You can see there. And I would not resume my bullish uh, stance on, on it until... Price breaks above this line right here. So we'll watch that going into the week, but that could be a very nice trade setup uh, coming. Uh, just a nice little pop-up and then a drop for a couple of thousand um, points on uh, on Bitcoin. Uh, <clears throat> real quick, copper had a very, very nice decline late last week. Uh, I missed this signal because I don't, this was a very, very tough market and I kind of stopped looking at it. Um, when it gets in here and starts to do this type of consolidation and, and wicking pattern, very difficult. So what I'd like to see is price do this for the week. Uh, come up um, and then give us an entry to go lower. I'm not going to continue a bullish outlook on that uh, until we see a nice bounce off of uh, this level right about here. Um, if we see a bounce off of that level, and, and, and then we'll look at getting long. Uh, but for now, I'm going to remain bearish on this. And I, But I don't want to sell it down in here yet. I'd want to see if price wants to retrace a little bit. We may not get it that high. Uh, we may only get it um, up to about here. And then price could continue lower, but we will watch that into Monday's trading for CME open uh, and see how Monday finishes. Uh, there is not really too many other trades I'm looking at. Coco, now this would have been a nice trade if you got in down here. I tried some longs in down here, uh, but it's very, very tough to, to market to get into when it does this type of, of, of trading, uh, sort of consolidation trading. Had a nice breakout and then a rejection 
and now it's just kind of sitting in that same sort of thing. So nothing for cocoa. We'll look for that to develop on the week. Uh, nothing on coffee. Uh, nothing on cotton right now. The price is really wanting to sit on this line here, and I think it's building up uh, positions. And I think a lot of people are thinking this is going to go long, and I think it's going to drop off. Uh, so I mean, this is kind of my. I think it's probably going to chop for you know a little bit longer, and then I'm kind of looking for price to do this and come down and, and take some lows out. Uh, so we'll watch for that to develop, and um, I don't want to take a position on it yet until we get confirmation. And confirmation usually consists of a break and then a retest, and then you get short. Uh, sugar, I'm looking for a long in this area here, and that comes in at about uh, 113.20. Uh, uh, sorry, um, 0 0.1330 uh, level. I want to see what price does down here before I send out a signal, but I'll be watching that one. Uh, nothing on orange juice, uh, the Dow, and uh, that's going to wrap it up for this um, for this session. So I wanted to keep it as short as I could, so we'll be watching for a continued um, bullishness on the U.S. dollar and continued bearishness on the relating currency pairs, and uh, you should start to see some signals starting to uh, trickle out um, um, after Monday's trading uh, starts to develop a bit. So we will talk to you in our next live session, which is uh, Tuesday morning at 12 a.m. New York time. For another hour and a half uh, live trading session uh, another one wednesday at the same time thursday the same time and then friday morning uh, new york open uh, cme open at 9 a.m so we will talk with you uh, throughout the week have a great sunday everybody